good any time soon wherever you are whenever you are my name is Kiro Baku and I'm your host and your void for the voice here to entertain you and to deliver you some future news and some excited news uh, about this channel um how should I talk about it uh like this as you already know I do a lot of different type of streaming uh, come with games sometimes with drawing lots of drawing actually and various different kind of like uh media format I try to do uh, sometimes I stream like me walking on treadmill when I'm doing something else multitasking stuff or um, I try my best to do quite a lot of different various type of content as you already can see I made a one-shot run and then like um, a little bit of a talk show stuff and education video and currently this one is basically is more or less like sometimes of a personal update or like some personal story I want to talk about or personal stuff I want to talk about uh, no, not just personal of course like something that I personally invested in uh, or something I personally found interesting in and then I will like do this kind of format and then do a little bit talk about it and today's topic is a little bit on the different side it's uh, more centric on me because uh, this past few days uh, of course you guys didn't see me stream a lot or making lots of content because like I'm trying to prepare some things uh, for the upcoming features uh, I want to personally Thank you for everyone supporting me and to like, give me like a lot of like cheers, uh, a lot of chat in the stream. But I do personally want to become more of a content creator uh, while at the same time as a streamer. Uh, it's going to take a much more effort to do it since you know streaming takes time, editing videos will take time, uh, takes a lot of times, you know, and yeah. I have a lot of idea when to do like various different kind of videos so I'm slowly prepping a lot of stuff uh, either mentally or like acidly <laughs> you know uh, since I draw and make all asset myself including all this overlay show technically it's just template uh, I will do more decorations on them in the future but yeah more or less you guys will see like things slowly upgrade as you know as things goes but yeah, generally, this is what you guys are going to be able to see at the moment. But there's exciting new news I really want to share, share with you guys that I will keep it at the end. But for now, just on the future of this channel. Um, as most people already noticed, I have like a few gaming content. It's called One Shot Run. Um, some people might not actually know what One Shot Run means in that context. Uh, generally is a gaming video that in a short form content i'm not going to like do like a five hour combo street uh combo video in there it's basically i try to keep it into minimum just like around like most minimum i can try maybe like around like 30 minutes or maximum like one hour um i try to not go for one hour because i know a lot of people have a short attention spam and stuff um again like uh that kind of video, uh, one shot run is going to like uh, settle in the format that is basically, like I say, going to be a one shot. Uh, basically, is to I I play a lots of different kinds of game, but sometimes you have to know what kind of time people like are uh, interesting in and to invest the time into the you know like particular stream and stuff and all like uh and like video content stuff. If they, uh, if you guys actually like what that one shot is, I actually always like tell people and then do some setup that is just in the comment sections. You guys can say like end call, or like you, if you really want it, you can actually give me end call live. So I would do the work, uh, the the game again, and then uh, just you know like do it as consistent content if I get enough end call. But of course, this channel currently is a little bit on the small side. So I'm going to do uh, the end call whenever it's like basically just like one people just saying it or maybe just a few people saying it. Because like depends on like how many one shot I start to create because this will be slowly piling up. You know, as the more one shot I go, the more end call I will have. And then I have to later on prioritize the one that have the most end call in the comment sections, you know. 
this is uh to give a little bit more engagement in the comment sections people can talk about it uh keep, people can keep giving some encore stuff and then i'll uh i will this way i would know this kind of content oh this game is people want to watch it and then i would do more about that you know so if you really like that one shot i do and want to see more of it you guys can actually go ahead and then type and call in that video and then i will try my best to you know provide you guys the content that you guys wanted but generally speaking um aside from that the uh, the core content of the uh, of the one shot run is uh, again gaming so what is one shot run one shot run is actually is basically just me playing one particular game like i choose randomly uh, or like people vote what kind of game for the one shot run and then i will play that game once as a video content and i will use my best to slowly like uh, introduce the game to you guys or how to play the games you know give you guys a little bit of introductions and this and that yada, yada stuff um those kind of like general things and how i'm going to do it is basically i'm going to pick the game uh depends on what type of game is if it's a roguelike game then things is easier i can just do like a one very good run and then you know be done with it uh sometimes i will like if i'm really like suck at that game um so like end my run in like two minute starting point and then i'll be like uh, of course i'm going to like play a few more rounds if like time doesn't satisfy like around like 30 or to 40 minutes like generally i would try to keep the content short um like 30 minute 40 minute or maybe like the longest i can have the longest i have, I, I can have it's close to one hour that's all um and if they are not a roguelike game of course the uh, you guys will so like uh find it like if it's uh, then how do i do any like short form content if like i play some game like red dead redemption that game is huge and long um yeah that's that's why i have to like create a setup that is basically like oh this game i've been progressing a little bit offline on myself and then i i have like a missions so i will complete that particular mission in that particular like one shot content and then uh while at the same time of course like slowly introduce you to the game this and that how to play the game properly uh, not like properly it's more like you know like how to enjoy the game uh, or like how the game uh works and stuff you know you know you know <laughs> but yeah general is just that and uh, i will uh complete that story a uh, particular chapter or particular stories and then be done with it and then if anyone noticed that yeah I i'm just going to do like that content for one time what happened if you guys like want more of it so it's actually a very simple solution so aside from one shot content uh one shot run content i also run another one is called encore run it's basically uh if you guys like uh depends on like how much you guys are invested in that particular content you guys can just say encore in the comment sections and then uh depends on how much uh encore like uh i get i will put them on the prioritized list to do another encore of it uh also you guys can actually uh do another one is like pre uh prefer that i want to encore it in the offline um basically it's I encode it as a video content or I encode it as a live content because I am going to slowly switch to the form that is generally um, I will play games offline not offline um, you know offline yes yes um, that is uh, the things I usually that I try to target to do but of course, if you guys like really want to watch me live uh, playing games, uh, you get, you guys can just let me know about it, and then I will do it. Uh, yeah, supply and demand, you know. Uh, another thing is like generally is about my other content, like the talk show and education show. Those things will still somewhat going on live, and depends on the topic that I would do. Like this, especially one, I will specialize on the off live side but sometimes if like some uh breaking news and i will actually go for like 
you know the live version of it and then you know have a little bit like chattering this and that yapping a lot you know the usual stuff i do <laughs> uh as you guys already know that i talk a lot uh if you guys got a little bit bored remember to <laughs> let me uh, give me the feedback and then i will try to uh construct the feedback of course uh let me learn how to like cut off like the particular part i talk too much and too much you know uh, but if it's in a video format of course i'm going to cut them off it's actually quite easy uh, if i know i've been yapping a little bit too much but like this one who knows who knows i'll cut it or not if it's like the video is too long maybe i'll cut it yeah but yeah so um aside from all those content uh there's another like core content i always like do is the drawing and treadmill stream um of course the treadmill stream i might slowly convert it to just a uh, treadmill and chat because like i would love to play games or like citus on it but citus is a rhythm game i always get copyright uh music copyright claim if i play that game and then once i get copyright claim enough i will get a shadow ban which is a very stupid thing um i still find this a little bit ridiculous but to be honest yeah um maybe if i finally get affiliated i can do like a membership stream maybe i'll do the do the membership stream with the you know, you know um with the treadmill with Cytus content uh, i just want to test the water out um basically just tossing stuff onto the wall and see what sticks of course as a content creator and of course now moving on to the drawing stream that i do um as you guys already noticed, I do a lot of drawing stream. And then sometimes I would all do like a overwhelming lot for like focusing drawing stream for the entire week. While sometimes I just like gorilla doing like this and that, yeah, the other stuff. But sometimes I would like just focusing on like one drawing for like the entire week because like, uh, man, I can't focus that much. So I always like break down my drawing into many, many day. Uh, also really depends on my conditions too but yeah um because those kind of like stream i put on prioritize uh, prioritize list is because i'm doing art commissions um art commissions of course is technically my brand butter since i haven't get affiliated yet um so it's the only way i earn money but i realized this like one particular things i draw a little bit on the slower side because i stream about it and i love to chat with people about it i'm i realized my pacing on like uh, doing like um at commissions is a little bit on the slower side and then uh i consulted to my friends he knows a lot of business stuff and he did do help me take a look about like how i normally do my art commissions like ask ask a lot of questions and stuff to be honest and then um he his conclusion is i'm an idiot <laughs> uh, for one thing he's always tell me that my quality is actually not bad i should like charge people a little bit much more on higher end price but uh most of the time i do my art commissions for friends so i have lots of like friends prize and this is why he say i'm an idiot um either way uh ignore about the idiotic part uh he what he actually like gave me a good insight of like how i normally do commissions um he personally are not in the art commission field he just no business stuff uh he does own a company uh, either way <laughs> um and this is like uh what he told me about it um generally from what he can find out so far is i am a little bit unique or you can say i am a general idiot uh, to the point that he cannot fathom <laughs> um uh, it's, it's, it's basically like this uh, most people they would have uh, ask for like art commissions and then give them like the demand i want my art like this like this because i want to use it for this and then um they give them a green light and then they give them a draft and then you give them a green light again and then um they will start doing it and then maybe you wait for a few days or maybe sometimes even a few weeks and then poop 
uh, and then you get your artwork. Usually, also same time, they won't really tell you the progression of the artwork unless you know you uh, you personally go to ask the artist like, "Hey, how is my work now?" Like you, after you wait for a week, you'll be like uh, concerned a little bit, and then you go and ask it, and then they give it to you. Uh, hey, this is how how far I work. Uh, don't worry, I'm still working on it. Uh, like reassuring you, I am not. I am still working on it. Stuff like that, you know. And for me, it seems like I am working on a very different spectrum. Of course, some people does their work like me too, but uh, I do that because like he knows me. He kind of like he knows a little bit of the bad habit I have. Is basically I'm those kind of like persons who grab a shiny rock and now it's like, hey guys, look a shiny rock. Yeah, that 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 is me in a sh nutshell. So, uh, you you kind of like get my idea, right? Uh, so when it comes to drawing, uh, drawing stuff, I will always, hey, I draw a stroke, and then I send it to, so I I just send it to the people who commissioned to me, or like openly put it in Twitter that, hey, I draw a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> like uh I, I i'm a very like nonchalant guy i would just keep on updating every single time maybe i start a stream end of stream and i'll say hey this is the progression i have like i will have a very consistent uh communications with uh the person that you know like hired me and then um consistently let them know about the progressions and then they actually will felt like a lot of things like on the spot changing stuff and then um, basically they can see everything building from the ground up uh, or my my friend told me like this is actually uh, more or less um, a, a very like special way to do your art commissions because like uh, the way of my service is more on uh, a very communicative linking side uh, it, it, it actually itself already count as a service aside from drawing uh, and art for the pe uh, of the persons so um and then he gave me this analogy it's basically like general generally um a lot of artists do that do commissions they can be referring almost like a very professionally made coffee machine uh, or like co vending machine so you can customize your coffee, what kind of coffee you want, you want mocha, you want this or that, yeah, yeah, stuff. You can customize to what you're liking, and then you press a button, voila, you get a coffee. And then he say like, my work, if I compare to like the high-end artists, I might not be able to compare it to them, but my service and how I actually do communication stuff is almost akin to, instead of saying I'm like a very high-end uh coffee vending machine i'm more like a barista you know uh, uh you know it, it basically is like uh you go to a cafe maybe that person didn't make the best cafe in the world but you go there because like yeah, he always like have a little bit friendly chat with you and then you know that he, you you watch like his like cafe uh coffee like brewing process and this and that yeah yeah stuff and you feel relaxed and everything so it's basically uh he highlight that point to me is that is basically how i normally do my um you know uh art stuff and especially approaching on the commission side i uh he said like um the work that i've done is almost akin to more like a barista work so it's like not just making a coffee to people it's like uh pouring your passions pouring your time pouring like uh your time to talk and know the client enough and then um draw the thing that uh that that will surprise them things like that because like uh if some people that are already like commissioned art from me, they already know this one thing, uh, especially when I know them a little bit more than usual. Uh, I will always draw lots of like different type of like their own Easter eggs. Sometimes even they didn't think about it because, uh, you know, like uh, I, I can add a little bit of stuff that when they surprise them or I can just ask that, yeah, I'm doing this. And uh, what do you want to like prefer that you want to add in? 
uh, originally i just want to like uh, draw like you fishing but maybe if you really want you can tell me like what kind of things you want to fish out and then uh, they'll be like oh i want to fish out my friend and then oh uh, all right I'll, I'll draw your friend into the artwork then uh, i change a little bit this and that, you know, that stuff you know um my artwork is always like un it's not exactly on people command it's always under my command you can say it that way because like um if you say you want to draw an artwork uh you can tell me the theme and what kinds of things you want but at the end i'm still the one who uh under the command and do the freestyling thing in into it uh draw whatever i can draw into it um sometimes some people uh want art commissions they want a very 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 specific stuff um too bad i'm not that kind of like art artist uh, i can't really like draw what what people like tell the tell me what they want i can actually draw things out and then depends on my conversation with that person i can draw i can actually uh somewhat do my own research stalk that on twitter a little bit if they are like a streamer or vtuber and then um ask them a few questions you know talk to them a little bit have a little bit fun chat and then like huh interesting interesting and then i i will depends on what i felt toward that person's and then i will draw a artwork according to my feelings into that work so yeah that is uh, more or less what i want to talk about and yeah a breaking news yeah some things that that you celebrate of is um i see a opportunity i i try my shot be professional and i got selected on being a VEP member from Project Orbit. Uh, technically, VEP member is, uh, they, they act like a, um, you know, like standard, like headhunter agency, uh, more or less. If you, if I want to like shorten the entire thing to be a little bit out of context, it, it is kind of like that, but not exactly. Um, they, uh, uh, it's basically, a, I, I'm not exactly like an agency VTuber, but also same times that I kind of like affiliated with them, um, in a, in a way that is basically like, they, they can help us do a little bit shout out and like do a little bit like, oh, I found a sponsor that do this kind of things. Are you interested in, you know, like, uh, and they, they essentially help us find sp sponsorship and then like do a little bit this and that, yeah, that stuff It's actually, um, you know, like, uh, it's, uh, it's somewhat similar to, like, how Mythic Talent or, like, how, like, uh, Moist Critical, like, do their things. Uh, uh, like, that, like, his, like, he also have one, another one, aside from Mythic Talent existence. Um, um, you know, a, a little bit similar to that, but also at the same time, um, you know, helping you out a little bit more because, like, their goal is to help out Malaysian VTuber and give them a little bit more signal boosting and let people know that uh what is vtubing <laughs> because generally sometimes in malaysia um still not a lot of people like really understand what vtubing is uh, yeah we uh it's basically we try to like expand the knowledge spread the gospel of vtubing <laughs> to people um technically i am a somewhat of a hybrid person so but um I'm I'm actually more VTuber than uh, than being like uh, the flesh side of me, so yeah. <clears throat> Glad to join you guys, and yeah, that will be the all for the news and stuff about like my channel stuff. Um, sometimes I may actually like post this thing again. Um, not not not. Uh, I I mean like this particular format stuff. Um, just talk a little bit about myself. All the things that happens like recently, this and that, the other stuff, or some particular news about my friends and this and that, uh, this and that, you know, just have some fun together, and might even do some interviewing stuff too. Um, if any, uh, 
uh, if any like uh, my BTB friend that uh, are interesting in it, uh, they can actually tell me. I can do, help them do a little bit of that too. I'm actually trying to organize a little bit on how to do like the interviewing thingy because like I I, I am actually very interesting in doing that kind of things too. But yeah. By the way, stay healthy. They say. And the next time, stay tuned on the next stream. Bye bye.